Well, the debate is intensifying over comments President Trump made to the widow of one of the four soldiers killed in Africa a few weeks ago. The soldier's family is now speaking out. So, too, is the president's chief of staff, a four-star general and gold star father himself. John Shumo is in New York with the latest. The back and forth over what President Trump said to a fallen soldier's family escalated Thursday. The latest to comment on the president's call to Army Sergeant LaDavid Johnson's widow, Johnson's half-sister, Angie Ghent. I find it very disrespectful of our president, someone who, you know, we look up to, who's supposed to be a role model to the generations to come, to actually say that. What he said was recounted by Congresswoman Frederica Wilson of Florida. Earlier this week, she was in the car with Johnson's widow when the president called. He said to the wife, well, I guess he knew what he was getting into. Chief of Staff John Kelly, whose son was killed while serving in Afghanistan, made an unscheduled stop at the White House press briefing to defend the president. Kelly said Mr. Trump asked for his help on what to say about a fallen soldier. He was doing exactly what he wanted to do when he was killed. He knew what the possibilities were because we're at war. When he died, he was surrounded by the best men on this earth, his friends. That's what the president tried to say to, a fam to four families the other day. President Trump's latest response was via tweet. Overnight, he wrote the fake news is going crazy with wacky Congresswoman Wilson, who was secretly on a very personal call and gave a total lie on content. John Shumo, CBS News. General Kelly also said he was stunned that a member of Congress would have listen, listened in on what he called a sacred conversation. Asked about that in Florida, the congresswoman told a reporter, quote, John Kelly's trying to keep his job. He will say anything.